create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and 100% wholesome team effort. Welcome, my friends, to our point of contact to the narrative domain. This is where the memes converge. Yes, my friends, I have a very special announcement for you. If you have not already read it in our Discord, we are honored to announce Pimon Nick as our brand new tour guide. He's now obligated to lead the Thank you. <laughs> you are now obligated to do the tour guide voice at all times. My friends. Yes, you are now obligated to do that at all times. It is written. I'm just joking. My friends, Nick has helped us tremendously with so many projects. He works tires tirelessly behind the scenes. And I could go on and on about everything Nick has done and allowed us to do. But instead, I will read a tribute to our dear new tour guide, Nick. This is a poem that yours truly wrote for you, Nick. Oh, world builder, a creator of realms divine, via your hands, ether flows from my mind. In whispered verses, your worlds come alive. A symphony of dreams where wonders thrive. Through the quills dance, my tale take flight. With ink-stained pages, our visions unite. You craft realms vast where fantasies soar. In every line, a treasure to explore. Your artistry weaves dreams into space. With cosmic hues, you paint the embrace. Of galaxies where stars beckon and gleam, guiding souls through a universe's theme. <coughs> Boundless gratitude, I sing this ode. For you, dear friend, my world's very abode. You've given life to visions held within, a sanctuary where dreams can begin. Through every phrase, your software makes it whole. An architect of dreams, a world builder's role. And as my pen weaves tales with delight, I see your hand shaping worlds, oh so bright. In wonder and awe, I stand by your side, a humble writer with hearts open wide. I'm grateful for dreams you've set free to roam. In the narrative realms you build, Nick, our hearts find home. Oh, see, thank you. That was oh, well ready. Yeah, man. You know what I'm doing. We've 10,000 your welcomes, my friend. Thank you. And not a word exaggerated. <laughs> my friends, Nick is well known in the VR chat community with his world mm. library. I recommend strongly that you take some time later to check it out. Now then, let's begin tonight's event. For those of you that are new here, please make sure that you are friends with someone else. In case you get knocked out of the world for any reason, you'll have to send an invite request to someone in the world to get back in. It's an invite plus world, and that's the only way. I will now drop a portal to the world will, I'm gonna send it to you of the pilot. Case. Please wait for my signal before you enter the portal. I don't think I've heard like 
I don't think I've heard of the pilot. Feel yeah. free to friend the tour guides as well. Oh, don't leave at any time. Nothing's forcing you to stay yeah, here. Friend the tour guides. You they got like right most time, bus stories, the like right north of bus far, stories and stuff. Far too far to stay. Yes. You like make yeah. choices. Unless it's me. It's really a bit thing. Unless it's you. <laughs> just kick back, relax, yeah. don't yeah. Yeah. Think too much, and just enjoy the ride. Unless you keep lagging. Yep. Yeah. Theoretically, I'm already late. <laughs> no, I, I, I can hear, you, but I guess so. Wait. <laughs> you just like lagging. It's like your voice is like thing off. Please enter, my friends. Yeah, we. Out. Mm. The person cluster is mm. very tight. Right. Right. I know, man. the start of all the times never too late for hydration oh, I, i've seen a few people here like uh there's definitely a few old faces here i thought it was funny to pile on them you misunderstand i'm at the bottom so there's someone hiding wait whoa whoa you want but i will Oh, that's very fast. Yeah, that went oh, from a rat man. Like, like a little rat, rat man. man. I think he's yeah. died. Bro, I think he's died. Yeah, he's just doing some demon yoga. I think I won the hydration it. race. I totally Contact. smashed you. Boy friend, I'm his stop. He has to listen to me. Lol. Oh, you're the boyfriend? Or the oh, whoever. Gather around five, everyone. Man, it's about to begin. Four. Three. <laughs> oh wait, Dom, what's happening? Two, the one. Word you're looking for? My friends, gather around <laughs> where you can hear. A few things before we begin. Music is an important part of the story. At this time, please go to your world music and make sure you have it turned up high enough to where you can hear the wind at a comfortable level. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, we kindly ask that you remain silent during narration. However, you are welcome to talk as we walk from place to place. In fact, we encourage it if you're going to save them. <laughs> save who? Now then, you'll see. My friends, please click the yellow save point. Okay, so it has it so it still has the teleportation. You should lol. Oh. And now, Man, without further ado, the story begins. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house. And in this lone house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out of her bedroom window, and her imagination soars. She wonders about the faraway exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes 
and she can see them. Beautiful cities filled with waterfalls and white birds, majestic mountains capped by clouds so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and crickets fill the air. In her mind, the sheen shifts now to the front door. She sees him, her father, finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. She feels a flutter inside, and she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple, but the path outside is empty. She was wrong. Her father hasn't come home. The little girl shoves the curtains across the room and turns from the window. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right. This way. Oh, you got... <coughs> oh. <laughs> Would you look at that? Uh, it's the Delta. Oh, oh, it's been so, so long. long. Those stoves are so out of date. It's been, it's been, so, been so long. long. So it's like a burning memory. I guess so. Oh, I guess Is so this the in between? It feels back good to be back, back doesn't yeah. it? I suppose. <clears <clears <throat> the young girl <laughs> trudges through the dark house. The kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind, wisp of mist brushing by, the gentle rush of cool air in her ears, the deep thrum as she passes through clouds, the land far below her, everything cast in a radiant golden light. Then, the sky knocks. No, not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground, and she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. He's finally home. She lets out a cry of joy. Her father picks her up, swings her around, and holds her tightly. Whoa, hey, is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is comforting, like the cloud she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. Her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. <sighs> I'll always come back he says. He takes out a sealed bottle of capsules from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon, the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire. The sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asked her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to father's story. This way. Oh my. This is pretty wholesome. Uh, uh, what are we heading into? Oh boy. Such a good story. I wasn't expecting our tale was gonna be a storybook. Man. The mother. The young girl jumps into bed, and the father and mother sit either side of her, 
the father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit this story, the pilot would go on a new adventure. But for each story, a few themes remain the same. The pilot flies to worlds with their legendary ship, and wherever they go, they meet new friends who need their help. The odds would be stacked against them every time, but thanks to their trusty legendary ship, the pilot always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end, and then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story. So, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's the good thing to do. The mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks if, when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people, like the pilot. Of course, the father says. You'll be the greatest pilot, and someday you'll save the day too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for their daughter. My friends, let's go back downstairs and let her sleep. This way. Has so I'm gonna get a picture. Oh no, here we go oh, again. No. Hold on. Hello. Let me, let me solve this. It's Hello, really Yellow like Hood. Just... There we go. Problem solved. Thrill. Problem solved. Mm -hmm. Are you the Thank Yellow Hood you. now? Yeah, they really mean they. Apparently, you had to kill Ethan right. Metro to solve the problem too. Oh, you can't hear me. He was caught in the crossfire. Oh, oh all right, but yeah. Well. The story continues. <laughs> the mother and father sit together in the living room. She asks him if he did what he set out to do, and if he was tracked. He says the same thing as always. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights, and about the military's tendency to ignore a certain amount of excess cargo. When she hushes him, her finger on his lips, she looks into his eyes and reminds him that she knows all this already. He laughs. He does explain that she will always know when anything is approaching thanks to the radar he stole. She nods. She knows this already as well. So they both decide it's time. It's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again. She missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. The media stopped. Panic. Uh, the mother is woken really suddenly. Know. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar, headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes, confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him to not to leave again, still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests that it's just a scout, or an error. No, the father says, and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks, and her heart drops. The signal is enormous. The largest airship she's ever seen, and it's headed directly for the rebel camp, off the radar's edge. That's... 
She begins, but her voice falters. Yes, it's, it's what you think it is. The Dark Monument. Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows there. Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns, it doesn't matter. Nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were. You were, until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims, and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here, protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't, can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistant ships won't make it in time. I can outrun that. That abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out of there. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms as he takes hold of her fingers. She's trembling. Listen. I was the same as them. A refugee on the run, remember? And then you rescued me. Now I have to return the favor. It's, it's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more. And the mother and daughter are left alone. One year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six. The mother lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. Every night she waits by the radar, staring at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radio all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, turns off the radar, and holds her for a while. She then puts her to bed and promises that she will sleep on time. She closes the door and goes back downstairs. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. A loud voice screeches. Oh, attention, shit. attention. This area is under martial law by order of the gray. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through channels, but it's everywhere. She presses a hand against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. How? Then she looks at the radar and she sees it. It's, it's already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? <laughs> 
No, it doesn't have time. She doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab out her bunny doll before a banging door echoes from the ground floor. The sounds of splintering wood terrify them, and they run toward the outside balcony. Quickly, my friends, this way. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Get down here. Don't jump too fast. Come on. No fall damage, baby. I'm going to go... Care for your step. Actually, you don't want to cause fall. any if damage. Anyone says anything, yeah. That's awesome. Not my fault. I know I have a flame buster, but I didn't do this. Oh, Shush, grab your, grab your wind jet and jump. We don't know right. yet. More research, this more questions. But technically it's around the house. So technically it's a ring of fire. We're operatives. We're operatives, not researchers. I know I am. I was about to say, for once, you didn't hurt yourself by falling down the ledge, but it's truly wrong. My friends, your attention, please. A new party of eight has just joined late. Kindly wait here for one minute for them to catch up to us. I repeat, a new party of eight has just joined late. Kindly wait here for one minute for them to catch up. Guess I'll look around the house in the meantime. Whoa, whoa, don't spread the fire! Why should we aim in that thing? He started it about a while ago. Ah, what's up? I'm gonna I'm rewatch the snap later. I cannot tell what's going on. It's like all dark. Exactly. I told you to listen to it later, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah. oh no. You know what it is, Bernie. Getting enough. I already know. Is every level of crazy thing you've ever seen lately compatibility to the dragon? No. Oh, sorry. I can't help it. I'm very quickly. Okay. For everyone that the people force is not on fire, please follow me. Oh, my God. It seems to be unstable. I need. It's a burning thing and it makes a fire ring. There's fire. One moment, I'll be right back. I need to go to spawn. Apologies, friends. One moment. You are fine, Shane. Proceed. We're up there already in front of the house. We need to. We need to guide the. Actually, in my trackers, I tried to jump over the fence. I could finally kick. Shane, that's the right spawn. Congratulations, you can I know, right? I'm so happy. Get up out of your wheelchair for the first time. The mother and daughter are now on the run for some reason. Let's find out why. Travelers, your attention, please. The story continues. I see. Oh yeah, okay. Who are they? You cries the little girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through a broken rib, but her daughter is safe, and that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The entire forest is in flames. They must have detected her. There, a path through the walls of fire. It's the only way. My friends, over here. I'm using something <laughs> Careful of flames. You don't want to get burnt by them. Yes, be careful. No, no, fuck it. Press the A button to jump into the flames. She struggles to run. smoke. The mother looks up, and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. She places her hand on her feet and, and kneels
feels to look her, look her daughter in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The little girl stammers, with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it. The mother cries. Take my hand, and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her daughter's hand tight, and they run. Her heart races, the fire is unbearably hot, and the smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, the mo mother and daughter have been spotted, and are now pursued by the Dark Monument Airship. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest, and squeeze the pressure save point, and as fast as you can, travelers, run for their lives. Emergency code for evacuating. Okay, who there? Who there was Look out for the fire and spotlight. Photo. Keep going. Something get through fire. We, we, we. Wait, Delta, did you just make a PSO2 reference? Yep. Crap. Go, go, go! There's too many over here! Record! We're outnumbered! Run all right. No one's been shot. Right, then well, at least I don't know if they have freaking guns. I haven't done this tour before. I see. So, what do you think? Oh, I had a bit singed, but. Fun fact, fire can't legally Danger. hurt you if you jump over that it. Zaku. Damn Z. Alright, here we go. Hey, we're on our side now. Welcome, welcome, you, you have all aggressive. survived. Congratulations, hey, you are not dead. Forget the colony drop. Eh, it's okay. Yet. Yeah, Yet. Yeah. And as your first yeah, inch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be yet. hard to even forget Hello? that one. Don't be too stingy. It's your first you inch. Don't be too You're still as fluffy as ever. Only, only a little yeah. bit. I just at the oh, end, I, I stepped on a fire. Oh, I, I, wowed, I stepped through a lot of fire. There's very little that can yeah, happen. Yeah, I again. really shouldn't. Uh, fun fact, fire, fire can't, can't legally so hurt you if you jump over it. Really. Exactly. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't do that. Oh, for the next time. So, Jesus if you're oh, meaning to go through some fire, oh, jump over it. Heard. Yeah, who says the fire obeys the law here? The fire does obey the law. The law that I just explained. That if you jump over it, it won't hurt you. So now all I know is the well, fire burnt my hand. It burnt only obeys one rule. Jump over it and it doesn't yeah, hurt. Exactly. Were we supposed to dodge all of those yellow goblins? Man. I guess. Wait a second. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> oh no, this... Only once, but I, but I was able to make This is plane. where <laughs> we, uh, it's <laughs> after, it's <laughs> after <laughs> a certain <laughs> place where we, like was it soup or the campfire song? Lucky ones. Oh, I can't remember. I think we cooked soup. It used to be the, yeah, yeah, here's, to be the this was the birthplace song, of soup. But someone said, hey, what's up? Yeah, this was the birthplace of soup, but it used to be this the camp. This is the birthplace of the camp. The campfire song is the is up at the camp. This was soup. Wait, the campfire song is the way. Continues. Nope. We have made it somehow. And so have they. The daughter and mother trudge through the rain. This way, my friends. Watch this. That's different. Empty. Oh, guys, it's time for a campfire. Yep, just, oh. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, but if I think you would. afterwards. 
I don't know. I I think give it not to soup moment. time. Not soup time. Yeah. Not yet. The story not yet. continues. The master friend. The mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. Nearby is a tent, an old campfire, and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas, the leaves of the trees, and the water's surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chill soothes the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. The rain masks her tears, and she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not. She keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the nightmare save point. Wait, nightmare save, save point? Where's that? Ooh, Gordy. Okay, that's uh. I'll have to yeah. stay behind. Here it is. I did uh, take that. Oh, right. Jeez. Ah. <laughs> What was that? Stay, in this room. Stay here. Stay in do this not room. pass the sheen. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Exactly. The mirror won't be so bad for you at least. Don't do it. Nightmare. Hydrasis. Don't do it. I hate when I see me in my own nightmares. Ooh. Right here. This can't be good. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Crap. Yeah. I do not like how liquidy yeah. the wall feels. I have a bad feeling. I, I see. What do you think this makes the soup out of? My friends. <laughs> what? A figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick. The floor is a solid void. And the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. The unknown figure looks about barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was searching for something. Perhaps, perhaps it, they think, but the thought can't finish. There are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted, drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They must find a way out. And so must all of you, as this is your next quest. Listen carefully, travelers. Watch as our NPCs step forward. Ether and Fyra. Please take your place to my right and left side. Change into your flashlight avatars and show them to the group. Turn your what, flashlights on what the hell at is this, this time, please. Make sure to have them oh, in a. Oh, yeah. Byron and Ethan. Now. NPCs. Are you ready? Yes, master. Why are you so Nightmare big? monsters, take your place okay. in the nightmare. Okay, you have about 30 oh. seconds. I'm scared. Permission oh. to shoot? Are you? Oh, what's no. gonna happen? No, my we friends, don't, we don't see you. your next <laughs> quest <laughs> is as follows. Roger. The figure must find a way through the darkness, find the exit, and so must, so must all of you. But you must not get caught in the nightmares, the monst the nightmare monsters, cone of light. Try to avoid them. Try to sneak around them. If you are caught in their cone of light, thunder will crash, 
and the little girl's hope will shatter just a little. Now then, my friends, the quest begins. Good luck. Roger. This is walls. a stealth Use mission. Use to your advantage. Oh, we're gonna right. shatter your night. We're gonna shatter these nightmares for you. We're gonna save you. <laughs> that was close. And that is what? mission accomplished. Soup, 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 soup. <sighs> so, <Too> you <laughs> see, now the question is is it soup or. <sighs> see. Oh my goodness, who was it? Oh, I feel uh, terrible Kirby, because I can't Kirby. remember the name. So we don't have Protan Chan? Protag Chan. Protag, it's specifically yeah, Protag Chan. <laughs> because it, it's because right, he used to supplement. do the campfire song. We gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you can. Man, I can't remember. He knows everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Okay, alright. 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 Okay, can he get in the soup? In the soup. Soup soup right here. Sit that okay, there we go. Soup, 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 I think it's ready. I think it's ready. All right. Oh hell yeah! Your head rotates. It's a robot too. Delicious. Okay. All right. He's ready. All right. Where's Lava Girl? Thank you very much. Only one cost, is that correct? I get caught like three or four. I'm right here, they're all standing still and watched him approach. Her approach, excuse me. Thank you. All right, you may change back into your other attacks now. I don't know 
if you've noticed, but I did employ the modification to try to give him, you know, the traditional face thing. I don't know if it's any good, but that's not good. Travelers, the story continues. And now it's Travelers, the story continues. Jordan, you get some too. The girl wakes herself up screaming in the dark of night, her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, she comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, not to worry. She tries to go on about a person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is too shaky. The mother assures her it was not real. All is safe. Together they sit, rocking for a while, as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun shining like a golden orb between the parting storms. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. Surely, clues to the Ethos Coalition are there. The mother checks the sky. Clear. For now. My friends. They walk to the town of Shade. This way. Alright, and way. there we go, congratulations, go, oh yeah, walk this way, man, this way. man, I missed this, I just so I get trending this yeah. week, is that, is that what you guys want? Yeah, I think that's what Let's go tell Roland. Did I read Roland? that right? Roland? Hey, oh, there's a Roland. Yeah. Huh. There's a name. Roland. Hmm. I think that was probably always there and we just never yeah, noticed until now. Huh. Probably. Yeah. Keep rolling, roll it, roll it, roll it. Keep rolling, roll it, roll it. Roll it, 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 roll it. Oh, hey, I think, we just, I think Techno just made a new song for us to sing. The Roland song. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tech. The story continues. <laughs> the Town of Shade is a small, busy, seemingly unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. Everyone seems to be on edge. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room, which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky, then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they are likely to have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. You will have five minutes to complete this quest. When five minutes is over, you will hear a bell. When you hear this bell, please return here to where you are standing now. Your quest is as follows. Explore this town called Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory once you do. If you are in VR, raise your hand above your head and click one of the buttons and your menu will pop up for your inventory. Should be your right jump hand or menu. and your jump button, I believe. Yep. It's actually your menu button. My friends, 
both work. Please do not be Either late. Works. You oh. have five minutes. Oh. Your quest begins now. Good luck, everyone. Sir, okay. Okay. Good luck. Oh, I want this token. Yes, me, Wait, baby. Perfect.
Um, I, I really like WoW and WoW Online. Yeah, it's fun. No worries. Yeah, I've been in every building now. Yeah, by right now I'm really being shade. I found a bunch of them, Shelly. Gotcha. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh. Mm. Oh, gosh. The time All for right. talk is over. Oh. And now ah. is the time for more talking. No, it's the time for action is over. Now it's time for talk. My friends, travelers, time has expired. Well done. Hopefully you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother the room is ready. This way, my friends. I just sit out here, honestly. Oh, but then I won't get my nightmare on. Oof. Oh. Monster. Where is Anyone got a rubber ducky? Rubber ducky, <laughs> you're <laughs> the one. Rubber ducky, <laughs> you look <laughs> so fun. Lots of fun. Okay. Rubber ducky, yeah, I'm only fun. Very fun. Very so fun. But I'm... Um, them. Tweak. <laughs> you have a bigger <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Excuse me. For those of you travelers that are in the bathroom doing what you were doing, I'll have you know that cleanliness <laughs> is next to cubeliness. Well done. <laughs> what are these guys doing in the bathroom? Uh, <laughs> I guess you could clean. say they are gleaming the cube. Oh. The story uh, continues. Uh, <laughs> the two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag. But she isn't sure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory, or the menu button, if you're in VR. Right hand above head. Menu or chill. Review the items. And I will now I'm call for the on three people at random to tell me which items, one item per person, which items the daughter will carry for her mother. Hadrim, may I call on you? Uh, hello? <laughs> Can you tell me, Hadrim, which item, only one, will the daughter carry for her mother? Would you like to pass? I don't know what to Very well. I'll pass it to your right. Sonia, may I call on you? Yes, uh, 
the pain medicine. Which medicine? Apologies, I did not hear. She said pain medicine. Pain. Ah, yes, the pain medicine. Good choice. For sure, the mother needs that. Now for the second item. Painkillers will always help. J Rob, 007, may I call on you? Astral amulet. The astral amulet. Surely a token of some sort that was lost between worlds. Certainly not from a place called Time Crash Zero. We would hope not. Good choice, J Rob 007. Mm. Now for the third item. Fast off, my friend. Tell me, what is the third item the daughter will carry for her mother? I got some first aid burn cream right there. First aid for burns, yes. Excellent choice. The mother needs that as well, for sure. Well done, travelers. The story continues. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding. But not yet. She has to keep going. She can't give up yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks beneath the gray sky. The buildings are painted in a soft pink light. She watches the shadows move. The daughter, the daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to her, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother with hopeful eyes. I think so. You need to sleep so you can walk with me tomorrow. You need to sleep too, mama. The little girl nudges her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. It comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother smiles. You already are, my angel. Daddy says, you're a good luck charm. As though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? The little girl looks at the ceiling and all around the room, but nobody's there. The mother laughs. Mm-hmm. The daughter squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply. Mama, will my friends watch over you, your heart too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. And her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She's asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, Mother will keep watch while we sleep, for what is good never lasts. Please, 
used the nightmare save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. Let's go. Forward and onward. Be careful. Good. Again. <clears throat> ah. Not again. Protective clothing, I see. Very Whoa. nice. <laughs> Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah. Huh? Yes, this is like yes. this is like your face's world, but we can see. I was told <laughs> to, was told that was that would what? be perfect. That'll be perfect for the I'm like, like dragon like point. Faces, but we can see. I see. Ah, we never get through one tour without. Says has like time like power. Counting, I can't even understand English. So give it the right amount of photons. That's okay. Then it can no, accept really destruction. I don't like the looks of this place. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of. <laughs> 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 Tights in PCs, please come forward and stand to my left and right. And don't fall. Ether <laughs> and Phyron fall. change into your nightmare monster avatars. Face again. <laughs> oh my god, it's worse! <laughs> <laughs> it's oh my god! So <laughs> kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Yeah, it's kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Just imagine it's the voices you would expect it. from these monsters in reverse. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, it's got a Yu Gi Oh card. That's an Uno card, you dork. Dream Eaters. Oh, it's a Uno card, not a Yu Gi Oh card. <laughs> At this time, you may take your place in the nightmare. You have time to prepare. Good luck. Oh, jeez. Even that voice is scary. Oh, God, that is horrifying. Once more, the unknown figure becomes aware. The air is colder. The vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last, the last place. Yes, they are here for a reason. The figure thinks in silence. What am I searching for? Why can't I remember who I am? Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only swirling shadow, and it evokes a sense of unholy dread. Something is following. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. This time, there are no monsters to avoid, but instead, a pair of dream eaters block the exit. Find the path that gives you the most hope. Then, gather around the dream eaters at the end, and together, friends, listen to their spoken trial and give them an answer. Your quest begins now. Good luck! Uh, lift. Come on, Jake. Come on, Back Jake. Left. Figure it out. I know my directions. You better say left, left and not right. Oh, we Another get the left? form power. So Another left. Yeah. Okay, all right. Wow, way to mix it up. Oh, we just gotta get this one. Purple. Dear God, that Mark creature is menacing. Can you just shoot it? Juice on there. <laughs> Mission to engage. To Your guns won't work. Wait, wait, hold on. We're what in a dream. We're in a dream. It'll be a waste of ammo. Something about food? <laughs> You're lean, bro. Oh my God. You well, we are dreaming. That's what do you expect? Exactly. <laughs> Alright, then what type of dream is Yo, your breakfast? Here's... You're supposed to be my the demon, worst kind of demon. Dream. Ether Why has become a as AVR chat sleep paralysis demon. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which one's a sleep paralysis demon? The tiny one or the one? Yeah, or the yeah, skeleton? Yeah, yeah. The tiny one, obviously. Travelers, your attention, please. Please give your full attention I those, I to the dream creatures eaters. were extinct. I crawl without limbs. I fly without wings. Give me scrutiny. I am Halcyon Tranquility. Pay no mind.
I leave you behind. What, what am, am I? I? Hmm. I think that is very blatantly time. Oh shit. It could yeah. be. Time sounds like it really no goes super slow, but it flies by you when you're not paying attention. That is very blatantly time. We yeah. can repeat your I'm... riddle one more time. I agree. Hmm. Master Guy, you would you mind sharing it to, to. Hmm? Repeat they, the riddle. I heard a request okay. for them to repeat the riddle if you don't mind. Could you also copy I it can't. to your. What do you say? I crawl without limbs, I fly without wings. Give me scrutiny, I am halcyon tranquility. Pay no mind, I leave you behind. What am I? What am I? Time. Yeah, it... Definitely time. Mm -hmm. I'd say time. You can't time. beat that. Yeah. As time. Yeah. time. No matter what <laughs> one does. You should have to no go. matter how far you run, no matter how fast you go, Time will, time will reach you. Is this your final like answer? answer? I think everyone's in agreement, unless anyone has any objections. Well, yep. who shall speak? I guess Come I on, we need someone to speak. Just your spokesperson. Uh, it's time. <laughs> you. It's time. It's time to duel. Is that how it works? Well, <laughs> is he right? <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, yes. Traveler, you win. I see. <laughs> Good work. Looks like the time was true this one. Wait. We'll get you one of these times, I, I swear. I press X to doubt. Yeah. Well, you're not in yeah, you try, so kiddo. scared of ya. Try again sometime, then. Keep trying, kiddo. You should now kiddo. head you back to, to your... Loving a, uh, cube. <laughs> Don't talk to down to our right? cube. Well done. Dare well to done. To cube. Dream eaters. Well done. What a grand performance. Yes, travelers, congratulations. You have passed the quest and answered the riddle correctly. This spark of hope shimmers in the dark. A blue orb sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Deeper and deeper until nothing is blue. It is all black all around. Finally, it rests in the hand of someone. But who on the ocean floor? Who would be holding this mermaid's tear? likely. Our F factors would probably go on the fritz if we were. <laughs> I suppose so. Warrants further investigation. Uh, More qualified yeah, investigations. I don't know what so. evil is only thinking of an island in the research. That works. Our life. <laughs> 
You know, I'm with you the entire time, right? I also sometimes do this. Play my hand. Not flossing! I am receiving the judgment of the group. Oh no. He is flossed! Partly. Everyone yes. shun him! Who? Who? Who floss? My friend. This one. We have someone catching up to us. Apologies. Yeah, someone catching up. Please right. wait here just a moment. See, this is the punishment you get when you floss. <laughs> get him! Whoever has the good story will continue. We are ready. Warm him. <laughs> get him! My yeah. friends, I know that you are want to do a barbecue right now, but trust me, just wait a minute and you'll have your chance. All Don't right. worry. <laughs> we'll get the coal outside. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can I douse them in the You are wonderful, Story thank you. Continues. That's outlawed. The girl Very is jolted outlawed. awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We have to go. Get dressed. We have vase. to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about her nightmare, about how she knows Dude. what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented, it hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us! The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed. She pushes herself up against the wall. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it! The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you. We have to leave. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. Crap, they found Let's the barbecue for the- What's- Everything is fire again. Oh, I can see. Because I think we can handle this military. Much fire. Not filled with fire. Oh, God. That way. Oh, God. This way. Oh, maybe not too. this way. Oh, oh. oh. oh it's not. It's not. It's burn. Burn. We can check blinding. for burns out later. Oh, jeez, there's even worse fire over that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's even a dragon like hell to <laughs> town. Oh, I'm going. Oh, I was not <laughs> I'll try to use my ice wave to cool it oh, down. The fire smell like Cheetos. Boy, oh man. You Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Gundam time. Let's go. Keep going. Ha! Just what I needed. Oh, Gundam style. Oh, oh, oh. Gundam style. Gundam. Just what I needed. A test run. Is looking. I hope that thing works because I don't have enough. Wait, Fire on was the pilot all along. Thing. How could you? I thought you were one of us. Traitor! you can hear. Story continues. With daughter in tow, the mother makes her way to the town exit opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots the motorcycle lying on its side. Soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states they were already scanned, and they have no potential. She slowly backs away. <laughs> I said halt. The soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees it and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind the crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide and sees his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes on the sky, the soldier reaches for his comms, preparing
preparing to notify command of his discovery. Your mother must think fast, and so begins your next quest, travelers. You have 30 seconds to decide as a group which of the three options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Your time begins now. Mother's instinct. Traders, we were the oh, nightmares so to start right. with. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, we they should have been talking about the beginning. Fourth option, rap battle. Metal Grim thinks it's like a battle. battle. Be quick. Federation. I, I don't no, think a rap battle is gonna work here. No matter how much I'd love that, it would work. You just gotta have thick bars. Question: Do you see a rat down there? I've never seen any of this. One. Fair. Do you see a rat down there, perchance? I. Dexter, Kasai, may I call on you? Uh, yes. I cannot see them, but Diarmin, is your name? Yeah. Uh, Diarmold. Yeah. Uh, they're they're they're, they're Dexter, a little manager here. Tell me, what will the mother do? Oh, cool. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct? Uh, mother's instinct. He dashes to grab the soldier's comm device before he speaks. He notices and catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. The soldier oh. has taken no significant damage this round. Oh, damn. Oh, dear. That's actually not bad choices. <laughs> the mother was knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her heart. Attack, defend, mother's instinct. You have 30 seconds to discuss. Mm. Hey, don't choose on me. Mm. What? Defend, defend. 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 But quick Gosh, reflexes, you do about to attack. Do that to she doesn't defend specifically. How could you do that to her? Oh, 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 hey, you got, a, you got a friend behind you. <laughs> I think we go for mother's instinct again. I think it worked out pretty well last time. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> you are mommy material. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. Attack the friend of motherly <laughs> instinct. Hmm. I think mother's instinct too. Is this a photo shop? <laughs> yes, photo. Five, four, three. Hydrasius, may I call on you? Choose me. You may pass to someone else if you do not wish. I choose you. Apologies. You say? May I ask you to come closer and repeat that? I cannot hear you. I chose a defense. Mm. He said defense. 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 Defense, I see. Uh, defense, sorry. Defense. Thank you. She reaches for a lid of a nearby crate to shield herself just in time. The bullet passes through the lid, landing deep in her upper leg, but she doesn't notice. While the soldier str struggles to adjust his aim, she throws the heavy lid, striking him hard in the face. He staggers, but does not fall. Furious now, he spits out a tooth and moves in close. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. Well done. Good. Nice. Keep it up and we'll get him down before lunchtime. You're going down, Ether. The soldier yeah, gotta raises reach the gun blade best. high and moves toward her. Good thing I'm Preparing gone. for a downward strike. Attack. Good thing defend, I can fly. Or mother's instinct. Yep. 30 seconds. 
One gun blade? How about two swords? I don't think it's taking any bullets for either of us either. You can't, but I can. Five. Is that our attack? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Double slash! It's like a wimpy. Plan bot for nine. May I call on you? Do you speak? How about one jump for attack, two jumps for defend, and three jumps for mother's instinct? I know. She is tough. Attack. One jump. Your answer attack. is attack. One jump. Attack. I, I Understood. Thank you. you Let's go. Go. go! Mama. She spins quick to his side, dodging the strike, while bringing her leg around for a hard kick to his lowered head. He drops the gun blade to block the hit, throwing her off balance. The angry soldier then grabs her by the arm, twisted into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt, but then he brings his elbow down hard, breaking her left arm at the wrist. The soldier has taken no significant damage this round. Damn, crap. That's not good. Keep an eye on the ether reading. There might be a possible. There might be a possible search. <laughs> Roger that. <sighs> Anyone got a healing item? I'm feeling low on health. That was a big hit. Witnessing all of this, uh, the daughter screams yeah. for her mother. Fuck. Now positioned Crap. between them, the soldier grabs the little girl out. and growls for the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. Yeah, the daughter shouts, "Leave us alone!" Just as a blue aura erupts around her. A blue aura. Attack. <laughs> Defend. Reading. Or mother's instinct. What will the mother do while she watches her daughter erupt with the blue aura? Defend. I think. Three? Why? Hmm. Oh, the daughter's in dis distress. We can't attack mm. or defend. We need to trust. Mother's instinct. Hmm. We have to go yes, mommy mama. We need to use it's time. We need the you Control need to trust the instincts of of mothers. They're the strongest that we know. Mommy trust the mother's instincts here. <laughs> Anyone else feeling warm? My systems are overheating. I could get I could get someone some wind Eloise, right. May I call on you? Uh, I think that's yeah. the heat from the flames. Yeah, Charlie died. I know. Well, Lady Alowen, uh, what will the mother do? Internal mother's barn instinct? critical condition. Trust the Understood. Of the mother. They have always known. They have known something right. The mother meets her daughter's eyes and shouts, Save us! The girl drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of blue flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, sending him flying through a stone wall. Ah, perfect. Such a pink ear. Yeah, Severely you. injured, but still alive. The soldier gets the sword's up. Responding Immediately, to the he runs to his mech, climbing into the open cockpit. But just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside no. the mech. I'm good. It's a healing drink. Oh. I That's haven't taken many damage. Shakes. I'm fine. But not this because of the grenade. This armor is handling well against the element. A shadow sweeps across everything. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates, 
dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the bullet-riddled motorcycle into an upright position. She calls for her daughter to get on, but the girl stands unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm, and the adrenaline is masking everything. For now. We're going to be okay, she tells her daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was the town of shade. My friends, this way. Once in uh, shade, hi. here's now the Final Fantasy Victory theme. Oh, I thought it was Final Victory. We barely got out alive. Hold. Wait. Mm. Everyone, re everyone, recuperate themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually have a vehicle? I'm Jelly. Oh, yeah. I, was looking at, I was looking oh, that's at that actually cool. Had a healing drink on him. Yo, let me grab the bag. Otherwise, my system yeah, the put a bottle system. lag back hey, there. Yeah, they <laughs> rise for uh, hours. Was, was the instant. <laughs> My friends, I, can, I, can I kindly ask your silence during narration. No. Apologies for interrupting, my friends, but I kindly ask your silence during narration. They ride for hours. The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out in the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We are almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond this way all right i'm holding on tight how long their sensor radius is i know keep moving i would be being followed <laughs> even now hmm. after all it only took them what a night to find us that's a cool bike i like it I fell off! <laughs> I told you it was only made for one. Get better seatbelts then! <laughs> not, so, what are seatbelts on this thing? Yeah, yeah you're holding on to your dreams. Unfortunately, sparrows don't have seatbelts on them. But they're fine pieces of machinery. The story know? continues. The sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead. Various points of light are moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest. Wait. Something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for... for smugglers, for refugees. Well, why are there soldiers everywhere? Grey soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And... and it hurts. Everything... everything hurts. Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. 
I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it really is. It's safe there, Mama. Let's just go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here. Her poor child is already, already succumbing to the trauma. No, no, she has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands back up, takes back her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. Let's go. Oh boy. I don't like the... I don't like the feeling right there. Well, we're doing the best we're on foot. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. oh, that thing's oh. huge. They ass is to shame. Not likely. The story no, continues. They sneak through the building carefully, avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. The two stop to talk, and the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you've heard, but Shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. It doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and the Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. The machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. Y you mean that creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yes. Rumor has it there is an ether amplifier on board, but the scanners can't make sense of it. That's impossible. I thought you can only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Well, whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment to be attached to it. Hey, do you want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. N no way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrol. Gonna hate this suggestion, Belt, huh? Not quite what may be. The mother concludes that the mysterious mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave. She looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the wall since they have arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. My friends, this way. Well, I say we yoink that thing they've excavated. Odd how that thing decided to ignore me. Well, what the? Uh, how, how did it when? when did you... <laughs> the boss. Oh, that's a nudge of mech. <sighs> the red color means it's stronger. Oh. Look at that beautiful, ain't it? We must use Mama Instinct Red again. <laughs> it's gonna work you do realize that's Mother's Instinct here. is just a grenade. Mommy's Red Instinct. It's a grenade. <laughs> Be afraid of Mother's Instinct. Pilot, we'll say.
my friends, the story continues. There, it stands alone. The mysterious mech. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance to get out of this region. If anyone is up there, please help me. Please. No. No, no. I can do this. I can do this myself, the mother thinks. It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens as the two approach. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her, but the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration that they need this, they need this to fly to where daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and Mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No, it's the pilot in the dream, Mama. We need to wait for the pilot. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get in now. No, we will be safe if we go to sleep, the daughter says louder, starting to cry. Angel, stop. Please calm down, Angel. She pleads with her right arm outstretched. I don't want to go in there again, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring, and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us. The pilot will save us. The little girl says over and over, and she faints. The sirens continue to blare, and the soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, and then over to the mech's open cockpit. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. If you wish to stay awake with mother, stand next to the mysterious mech. If you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare, stand next to the crates on the other side. Everyone else sure will handle the mech's controls. Uh, we have to handle this nightmare. No. Huh. Hopefully we I'd handle it well. Like we're not railroaded or some crap. Our job is done. <laughs> exactly. I'm just. Well, done. I'm going with whatever. Please have an effect on this thing. Time to shine, buddy. You've got this. Uh, I see. Where, I see. <laughs> oh no, it's like, like, like a one split on second. Wait for the wait for the nightmare. We also need plot to the floor. My equipment goes all wild. Oh. Let's, just hope, the, let's just hope the others are able to see them and clear out as much enemies as possible uh, while we deal with while we deal with the nightmare. I see three low. <laughs> Travelers, the group has voted, and our path will follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare. Please. Join with the other group over here. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it is going to be one and then the other. Yeah. 
to be where the group I'm gonna splits. I'm going to be around other avatars, but uh, music is 2D, so no, I don't you're... think it'll work. You're good. No. Uh -huh. Uh, scaling is a thing. It being too big is no longer the problem. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure Zune would permit, so. Yep. Somebody died over there. Apparently, like, no one wants go My to friends. the cockpit this time. Welcome to the final nightmare. Welcome to the grand finale of the tour. Please, click on the nightmare save point. It's a predetermined that ending. This is my only... Yeah, we have to go to here anyway. This is only my second time seeing it. Oh, oh my no. So my nightmare. I need a tiny platform. Ah, yeah. My nightmare. Shut up, not, not Shut me. up the sensors. Ah, yeah, the Don't distract Mac you. Boss we fight already arena. know the threat here. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for that again. Not even someone pushing me is gonna make me fall for that again. How do you think you can make that call from there? <laughs> two years. This sounded really sexual. Too fast for you. Man, imagine yeah, being yeah. friends. Cringe. Fair enough. Yeah. What are friends? He just hit you so Wanna try again for a zinny? <laughs> oh. Oh. And there he goes. You gotta zip out that. That's what you get for wanting oh. to challenge the dragon. <laughs> Alright. Travelers. Travelers, your attention please. The story continues. Mother will stay awake to protect us while we dream. And thus, the unknown figure jolts awake with awareness. Once again, they look around and they feel as if they just fell from up high. The undulating void around them is giving off voices. The figure listens closely. A slow and faint heartbeat echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of it all. But it feels somehow meaningful or important. That's her, no? That's my? The words come as but silent thoughts to the figure. Confused, they pursue the voices. Boy, do I know how it feels to fall from somewhere. <laughs> Peace. This is my second time being here. What's A monumental hell? tree stands tall in the void. There is a warm air of absolute around it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices in the dark. The heartbeat is coming from this tree. Without a voice, the, the figure's thoughts burn in the dark. This is mine. This was made for me. It was always made for me. But... Where? Where are the wings? Suddenly, the air goes cold. The void quakes and bubbles up with tar. It drips down the tree as an image slowly emerges, reflecting off the black substance. A blood moon. Every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. I will devour your soul while your friends watch. <laughs> a 
face me, travelers. Fight for your pilot's soul. Oh. 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 Bring it on! <laughs> well, I guess this is where I use my remaining ammo. Travelers, battle ready! <laughs> for the daughter and the mother! Ready, puppets! <laughs> You're out. From out of the nightmares of this, a shadow of tremendous size creeps like a spider. It pulls its heavy carapace burdened with great spines of colorless crystal. Its face is not but a maw with three jaws, with a single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowned, crowning its mouth, is a heart shimmering with all the colors held hostage by the monster. The abomination observes the figure standing in the middle of this nightmare, and the dream devourer readies to attack. The figure realizes they have items on them, and they quickly look over what they have. Yeah, I'm a little shaking because That's what I, have. I feel a little shaky. See, maybe it's three items that it's nonsense. earlier on. We're fighting this head on. <laughs> See, turn into <laughs> Good luck, I'm sticking to, stick to my gun. Shot, you missed. <laughs> oh. Friendly fire! My friends, uh, the, the items you chose earlier transform into the following. The pain medicine transforms into a glowing potion. Good. The first aid Who's burn holding cream the transforms into a glowing potion. Get the astral good. amulet transforms into a ruby knife. Oh, that oh. Okay, who's using the ruby knife? <laughs> Oh, no. uh, I guess Delta Frame can house their knife. Let's go! The dream devourer Delta rears got... back, its spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, <laughs> spines are launched outward like shrapnel. Travelers, what will the figure do? You, due to the items you chose, you may either choose Ether Attack, or Heal, or Protect, or Nothing. Okay. If I dodge the spikes. Either attack. Either attack, protect, <laughs> is the two options you're thinking of. <laughs> Either attack might be the probably might be the Probably the heal. After, wow. If the heal applies after the spines, I'd probably say heal, because like... We only, two heal, you have, we only have two heals left. We can't do any more yeah, after that. We can't waste the healing. We can't risk it. Somehow I feel the pilot's promise might have been a valuable I item for this. Master to save us time. Time has expired. Jake, I am a... Hi. May I call on you? You certainly can. The figure faces off against the dream devourer. As the spines are launched toward it, what will the figure do? Hmm. Protect. The figure takes out the pendant of hope and clutches it in their hands. They feel a strength in their mind that ripples through their body, but it does nothing against the needles. The figure takes one damage. Ah, ah, ow. <laughs> huh. It's gonna take a little more than that. Thanks, guys. Can't use it now. Hopefully, it helps to grab a shield. 
The shield is very convenient. <laughs> that is true. The dream devourer rears back and begins to rumble. It shudders and energy visibly emanates from its massive form, distorting the air around it. It's aiming at the figure. What will the figure do? Ether attack. <laughs> Heal. Attack. Tuck seems like the best option here. I think either is going to hit him with charging up an attack. Maybe protect the cat. I don't think it's going to help as much. Or heal. Think carefully. True. Well, let's interrupt it by attacking. What do you say? Heal? I think we got to tough this one out. Either attack. Heal's not a good option. Best to invest a counter with an ether. I repeat, wet next word sock. <laughs> what will the figure do? Uh, ether tag. Oh, buddy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> just like the figure draws the ruby dagger and uses it to launch an ether attack. The red jet of energy erupts outward, but it is dispersed by the aura surrounding the dream devourer. Knew it. Nothing oh, happens. Oh, shit, bro. Huh. No. Well, you wouldn't Unlock. Know. Well, we didn't take damage. I. The dream oh, devourer God. rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light, a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, <laughs> launching hellfire up into the air, oh. ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. What will the figure do? Ether attack. Heal. No or protect. Oh, okay, we we'll definitely gotta attack. protect. Them. We can't just stand there. Freaking briefcase, yeah. go! Oh, Good question. I could have sworn I was getting in the land of the dream. Go on. <laughs> we, How yeah, do you drop it in a dream? My was in it. We smacked it. Yeah, it was I have no clue. We are dealing with an Eldritch abomination. It probably did something. Eldritch abomination. Me and Gordy killed one for dinner. Yeah, well, my sensors are far well, overloaded. They aren't shutting off. Five, uh, right. four, yes, three, consuming. two, okay. one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May I call on you? Yes. What will the figure do? Uh, we are going to <laughs> um, attack <laughs> again. Ether attack. Understood. I'll <laughs> really love your ether attacks, huh? The figure draws the <laughs> ruby dagger and uses it to launch an ether attack. The red jet of energy erupts <gasps> outward, but there's too much hellfire. Everything turns bright as the figure takes one damage from the eruption. <laughs> heal, 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 heal. <laughs> well, now we're on uh, fire. Is it, is it now I'm curious what one. ability we would get if we brought Woo Baby Volume 1 in. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yes, oh, Woo Baby. Dream. No. <laughs> the dream devourer <laughs> stops <laughs> moving. Clearly the most powerful Its weapon. energy is endless, and its willpower is infinite. It stares directly at the fear, and from nowhere, a voice fills everything so powerful that the very air around it is torn. The voice enters the figure's mind and says, Who are you? <laughs> Drown others. What will the figure do? Ether attack, heal, or protect? Heal. 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 Answer. Heal. Yeah. Heal. Usually we only have 3 HP, and we're down to zero. One, is that the case? We have to heal. Come on, come on. Get up. How many HP do we have? Three? We have three. And it lasts like my personal fillable heal. This does feel like an opening. That's what I get for getting a broken healing item. And by broken, I mean... Tell me, Dascor, what will the figure do? Tell me what, he's the one who's willing to make the model, I'll do it. 
Huh. The most healed. Well, healed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Notes. Yes. Actually, that said, yeah, the figure yeah. is unique. The figure uh, takes yeah, out the glowing potion, control. but the question dominates their mind. They have no answer, therefore, <laughs> they cease to exist and vanish, leaving no trace uh, in this nightmare. Oh. Oh. Man. My oh. guy just ceases <clears throat> to exist. F. I do not oh. think, therefore, oh. I do not am. I <laughs> am <laughs> you. Tragedy. Damn strike. <laughs> Honestly, this could be a good photo. Well, yeah, good good photo. Like, take a picture. Nice <laughs> oh, All that's left is the sound of a slow, <laughs> muffled heartbeat. Oh. Gently fading into silence. Their body losing definition. And spilling apart into smoke. The figure's last thoughts burn cold in the dark. This isn't how the legend ends. I was so close. I have to find it. I have to become the... And they gently fade away. My friends, let us continue. Also, I'm finally the night, so I can understand yeah. everything now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what? Welcome back. The grand finale awaits. Listen carefully. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belt. She calls for her mother. She struggles to unbuckle herself, but freezes when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky. Far above where the wrecked mech lies, the black clouds part, and the dark monument airship shows itself. Its monstrous form grows like a void swallowing the world, Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red. The daughter, unable to free herself, wishes none of this ever happened. She wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. She wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monster could ever find. The mysterious mech vanishes in the flames. Damn it. My friends, please use the cold save. Those damages <laughs> gotta be lethal. Oh, we both. <laughs> we were too late. <laughs> Someone tell me rebuild this thing. I need help lifting. Too late. Nice. No, 
It's too late. Oh, it's man. gone, mate. It's gone. Ow. Let it go. It's too late. This is new. The no. ether has this dissipated. Is a no, they must live. They must Cavalers. live. I'm sorry, Elvis. Scholars, your silence, please. Oh, what happens too often in war? That's what we do. The story concludes. Worldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The daughter opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seatbelt and crawls over to the pilot seat. Mama, she speaks meekly. Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls to her mother's lap and holds her tight. There's no response. Mama. Mama, wake up. Mama? Mama? She weeps for an answer, but no one would hear her cries. Not he here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Well done, everyone. Welcome to the costume neutral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> neutral this ending. Is what the bad ending, ending is if this is the neutral one. What the hell? Oh, oh yeah, there's uh, there's, there's this is a neutral ending, ending bad ending than good ending. Can get way worse. If this is neutral ending, ending. Oh, yeah. think about the bad ending. This is cool, right? Nick, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, this is awesome, right? Yeah, this is more good right now. I don't know what neutral means. Oh yeah, oh wait, it's what? Oh, that's not the half of it. Actually, Julie, you've seen the bad ending, haven't you? Let's go. Yes. Not all I don't completely fucked up the mission. Charlie, <laughs> 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 spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. 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 It's good. Nah. The end. Oh, you've seen, it's you've seen the good ending, ending, ending too. Travelers. Break time. Okay. Yeah, like she was Travelers. there when we Your attention, please. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with this story to the end. It's sad, I know. She waits here, in this ocean distortion. But how long will she wait? A thousand years? Ten thousand? What happens to characters and stories that are abandoned? This is not the good ending. And such is their fate. My friends, please, put your hands together for the performance of our NPCs tonight. Ether and Fyra. Yeah. 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 Let's go. You the camera <laughs> 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 the scary of the <laughs> the nightmares. My friends, don't That's worry. Awesome. There is a good ending to this story, and I will be performing it before the Painter 2 releases. I'll be taking a break yeah. for a couple weekends. As I work with Nick, and as some of you know, my family comes back from overseas. But Woof. I do want to say thank you to everyone for your support, especially our Patreon supporters. My friends, we are VR travelers.
and we create immersive story-based tours to be a bright spot in this world. Our tours are free and will always be free. And I thank you for giving me this place to tell these stories. If you want to support us and help us build these worlds, you're welcome to check out our Patreon. It's only $3 per month, and joining grants you the ability to play in pieces in our tours. Plus, you can see all the behind-the-scenes stuff that Nick and I are working on for the painter, too. It also grants it's you access spicy. to... Choo -choo, electric boogaloo. It also <laughs> grants you access to <laughs> the boogaloo and a bunch of weird stuff on our Patreon. <laughs> about the boogaloo. Well, not not that kind we'll of stuff. We'll run the boat. Yes. Oh. We'll run it up the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run the outside the boogaloo. Damn. Okay. I'm talking about oh, boogaloo fan for life. Abstract weird stuff. Oh. But yes, oh, okay. my friends. In other words, everyone, give them their, give them your money. Give them your money. Let's hang out here for a while and talk about the story. Maybe a little later, I'll drop a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party. Okay. Oh yes, a group photo. All right. Uh, a group photo. Is it okay if I let all of you handle that? I'm out of breath. Apologies. Mm. Let's go next to the mechanical corpse over here. All right, try. Call the mechanical corpse. Let's get ready for a photo. Now we do our. Let's call it e-waste. We're doing our part. Done. I might as well analyze the wreckage here. Oh, dance? Yeah. I gotta get, I gotta get oh, my usual. Oh, we will install PA. Mm -hmm. No, don't Let's do that. that. I don't understand. Fuck you. Yeah. I think I can... Ah, uh, trust me, Gord. It's best. What if we just make a, like a tower that just, just keeps going up? Good. More oh, you're he stopping you. You're gonna need a lot more knowledge. Well. You're gonna make those things work. Knowledge. And even then... Oh, Everyone get in the group photo because... We got the um, ALS. What, what <laughs> looking at? Uh, <sighs> anything I guess? I'm just, I'm just gonna Those mechs tap out. into our photons. And we have hey, a lot of those. Metal. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it seems this one <laughs> might be <laughs> tapping into... Yeah, also frame, you can't... Gordon, gaming, just, just um, stop. Unless we know... Chances we know, it's probably work. the exact same thing. Where's the AAA mech service when you need it? <laughs> Don't right. tell me about it. In another tiny pocket realities. Um. Besides, my dragon sword reacts. In another to narrative domain, that's anything. where they are. They're always so in another weird. narrative domain. I'd also not recommend dealing with those because trouble only seems to fo follow those things. I think barely That's what you have. think. Well, what? Uh, interdimensional mech repair services. No trouble following the giant mechs. We'll do alternate timelines. Man, you know what? That sounds like a great metaphor. Me and Gordy are used to, used to fighting a lot of massive stuff on our own. Power your arms around Panda. Even without the assist. Even without, I can do this for days. Legging <laughs> sick. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know what to talk to you with these massive things. Shelly, <laughs> no. get his fingers. No, are photos done yet? What? Well, my fingers are alive. Several photos. Get, get. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't done. have fingers. <laughs> several have been taken. You're right, he's got paws. Oh. He's got oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, the link to our oh. Discord is my status in VR chat. Please, you're welcome to join and post the photos you've taken there. You're also to welcome, you're also welcome to comment about today's tour and offer any criticism. We warmly welcome it. Criticism. Where's good ending? <laughs> Criticism. Criticism. Where's triple <laughs> ending? <laughs> the good ending what is hidden in the Where's McZellan? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, smooth. <laughs> smooth. I'm I'm okay, that was smooth. <laughs> yeah. All right. I see you. Where is it? I've seen the good ending. Rat. It's worth it. Call Chelly a rat. Rat. I'm chanting with me. I guess no one wants to make zealots anymore. <laughs> the good oh, ending yeah, is the dragon was, was, uh, was uh, a nice hair yeah. thing. Jake, I need more mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to learn a little more about the world. I have one more bowl's worth. 
We shouldn't have taken it from him. Oh yes, for those of you wondering. Trajan couldn't make it tonight, our other tour guide, and neither could Rendizo. But now that we have Nick, I have the backup I need to run a tour by myself. As you all know, Trajan will be slowly fading out of his speaking parts in all tours. He will be finishing his all of the tours he's written until he gets to the last one, uh, the last ending. Yeah. But, um, but eventually, I will be taking over probably even his tours. And that is why tonight we did the split path and we only followed one path instead of two at once. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's going to be the way it is from now on until I find another tour guide that can do a performing role. All right. Damn, Kagan's fired. Fair enough. What? Kagan was not fired, he resigned. Very important difference. Oh no, I mean he's good. He's, he's not fully fired, resigned. Like, fired as in like, like cool. Oh, he is, fire he is fire, not fired. He yeah, is yeah, lit. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay. Is awesome. He is you lit. Yeah, yeah, I love listening to his like stories and stuff. Language. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm glad I get to be here flammable. for his last couple tours. And I get to be here for Nick's he is fired cool. guy. That's that's yeah, a that's fired. a tour quote. Somebody tour quote channel, please. Ten thousand places. <laughs> Write it down, write it down. Write it down, write it down, Patrick. Why are you writing down in trouble? Writing down what? Patrick, I Patrick, I said Bible, but I'm still here. Attention, please. Did you know that Nick built this world nearly from scratch? Can we all put our hands together for Nick, the world builder? Nick, You are still a world builder. Unanimous respect. You have done something that we don't. Build a world. I'm doing the recording now. I think they're recording. We'll hop in the server and we can get it. Um, thank you, you lab, like thank you wow. Tech, for it's being our chronicler. Time. I'm going to uh, drop a portal to the rendezvous for the after party. You're welcome to come and hang out.